the headlines, subsidy, House of Reps begin fuel consumption assessment. Ending petrol subsidy, inevitable, Moman. Custom, Ford's NNPC's data on subsidy payments. Hello and welcome to Value Chain News. I am Naomi Oleribe. The House of Representatives Ad Hoc Committee on Fuel Consumption has begun the assessment of the volume of petroleum products being consumed in the country daily. Chairman of the committee, Representatives Uzoma Abonta, led other members of the committee on an oversight visit to tank farms in Calabar. The lawmakers were conducted round the farms by Mr. George N. Eta, the Regional Coordinator, Nigerian Midstream and Downstream Petroleum Regulatory Authority, South South Regional Office, Calabar. Abonta said that in view of the current debate on whether fuel subsidy should be removed or not, the House of Representatives set up the committee to ascertain the product consumption in the country. According to him, the report of the committee will be used by the House as an indicator to perfect the issues surrounding the subsidy. We are trying to find out the volume of products being consumed in the country daily. This report will be used by the House of Reps as an indicator to perfect other issues. At the end of the exercise, if we get it right, the House of Representatives will be in a better position to direct or properly place this issue of subsidy or to do otherwise. From what the Nigeria Customs Service has told us about products getting into our neighboring countries, if that is true, then it is not part of what we claim we consume, he said. Major Oil Marketers Association of Nigeria, Moman, has said ending subsidy on premium motor spirits will be extremely difficult, but that the federal government has no other option in light of current economic realities. Moman called for massive investment by the government in various sectors such as mass transportation, healthcare and education to successfully dissuade Nigerians from petrol subsidy. Its chairman, Olumide Adeoshun, made this call at the just concluded Association of Energy Correspondents of Nigeria, NAEC Strategic International Conference in Lagos. Adeoshun spoke on the topic energy transition, the PIA, petroleum pricing, and the way forward for the downstream sector. Adeoshun, who was represented by the chief executive officer, Clement Isong, said it will remain very difficult to win Nigerians of cheap petrol. He said it is something that must be done as there are no more viable options. We are told that this year the subsidy bill to the federal government may be between 5 trillion naira and 6 trillion naira. Clearly, Nigeria cannot afford this. He said the marketers were optimistic that the industry was headed in the right direction with the enactment of the Petroleum Industry Act, PIA, which was an excellent piece of legislation. Adeoshu said the marketers were also convinced that the decade of gas declared by the federal government in January 2021 was clearly the way forward, adding that the increase in gas prices worldwide and the unavailability of the products had made it little more difficult for the rollout. The Nigerian Customs Service, NCS, has claimed that the Nigerian National Petroleum Company, NNPC Limited, is unable to prove that the amount of premium motor spirits, also known as petrol, consumed daily in the nation justifies the over 6.34 trillion naira annual subsidy payment. Customs Comptroller General Colonel Hamid Ali made the call on Thursday when he appeared before the House of Representatives Committee on Finance at the continued hearing on the proposed 2023-2025 to medium-term expenditure framework and fiscal strategy paper in Abuja. Ali claimed that the nation's oil company was supplying more than 38 million litres of petrol per day and that the NNPC cannot scientifically back up its claim of a 98 million litres per day consumption rate. The committee had questioned Ali on a similar deficit in the 2023 budget that ranged from 11 trillion naira to 12 trillion naira and was outlined in the 2023 to 2025 MTEF. The deficit in the 2023 fiscal year is expected to range between 11.30 trillion naira and 12.41 trillion naira, according 
to the federal government's proposed budget, which has estimates totaling 19.76 trillion naira. Zainab Ahmed, the Minister of Finance, had earlier testified before the committee on Monday and expressed concern that the government might not be able to fund capital projects from the Treasury in the coming year due to declining tax revenues and the annual payment of 6.34 trillion naira in fuel subsidies. Heading to Iran now, an explosion has rocked a key oil refinery in Iran's southwestern city of Avadan overnight, state media said earlier today, reporting no casualties. The explosion was caused by the bursting of one of the furnaces of the sulfur production units in Avadan refinery. The news agency described the plant as the oldest refinery complex and one of the biggest in Iran, adding that it supplies 25% of the country's fuel needs. Industrial accidents are common in Iran, with a series of similar incidents occurring last year, including a large fire at an oil refinery in southern Tehran. In business now, the president of the World Bank Group, David Malpass, has said that the bank is ready to support Nigeria in phasing out regressive fuel subsidies while increasing social assistance for the poor and vulnerable. This is according to a statement recently published on the bank's website, which gave insight into the meeting between Malpass and Vice President Yemi Oshibanjo. Malpass stressed the need for a unified exchange rate in Nigeria, which would improve the business enabling environment in the country, also attract foreign direct investments and reduce inflation. Malpass and Vice President Oshibanjo discussed Nigeria's energy transition plan. And now, let's have a quick look at oil prices and exchange rates today. And that's the oil prices and exchange rates today. That wraps up our news for today as well. Have a pleasant weekend. I am Naomi Oleribe. Good afternoon. <music>